Hello again. This is part two of a four-part series called 100 Years of Air Pistols. And in this video, we're going to look at some pistols that were made between 1940 and 1972. And these are a few of my favourites from that period. So first up, from 1940, we have a very classy pistol called the MG Zenit. Uh, MG stands for Moritz and Gerstenberger, and it was made in Zellemelis in Germany during the war. It's a very novel design, very clever. So it's an overlever which pushes the piston back. The barrel tilts up and you can pop a pellet in and uh, it makes for a very compact, well-balanced, very nice pistol. This was uh, extensively copied by other manufacturers and I think there's about five different companies that copied this uh, in later years. Then from 1946, we have the Webley Senior Slant Grip. This is a beautifully made pistol. Uh, it also has several technical improvements over the earlier Mark I. So one of them is an extra link in the cocking linkage, which means it's much easier to cock it. You get more leverage and it requires less effort. And also the barrel is held in place with a thumb-loaded catch. So it's much easier to use. The Webley Senior is arguably the best made air pistol ever. John Griffiths put it really well when he wrote in his book, they exhibit a manufacturing and hand finished quality never likely to be seen again in a production air pistol. And he's right, they're an absolute work of art. Then in 1953, over in Germany, Wolfer brought out their first ever air pistol, the LP53. They based it on their um, Olympia target pistol. Uh, it's a break barrel spring piston air pistol with the spring and piston in the grip. They were probably inspired by the Lincoln Jeffries air pistol from the 1920s, which had the same mechanism. This is actually the only spring pistol that Walter ever made, and it's really nicely made and uh, very accurate. The trigger's nice and light, and the recoil though is vertical, which feels quite odd, but it's a great pistol. And it always hits what you're shooting at, and um, yeah, it's, it's quite an iconic pistol. Made famous by Sean Connery in the From Russia With Love poster. Then in 1960, things start to get interesting uh, for target air pistols with the introduction of the Diana Model 6. This is the first recoilless air pistol. It uses um, Diana's GIS Contra Piston system. So it's got two pistons and one travels forward as usual, but one also travels backwards to cancel out the recoil and it works really well. Um, the first year they were made, they came with this really nice wooden grip, but after that they moved on to the plastic ones. Very important pistol. This started the whole arms race, if you like, for recoilless target pistols. Also in 1960, over in America, Crossman brought out the Crossman 600, an extremely ambitious air pistol. Uh, it's CO2 powered and it's a repeater. It fires two two flatheads and yeah this is probably the best air pistol that Crossman ever made. Yeah that's a really fun pistol to shoot and it's very very accurate. Um, yeah very very nice. Then back in 1965 over in Germany Feinwortbau bought out the LP65, which was their recoilless spring pistol. This is a later version, a 90, but the mechanism is the same. So they took their sledge system from their 150 target rifle and they put it in a pistol. So it's a side lever, sliding cylinder, fixed barrel spring pistol. But the whole mechanism is, is set on rails, so when you fire it, it can move backwards. And what that does is it cancels out the recoil. Uh, this is the most accurate spring pistol I've got, and uh, they were very successful. At the other end of the market, we have the FB Record LP2, which came out in 1967. It's an affordable brake barrel spring piston air pistol, and it's made mainly of cast alloy parts. It was designed by Fritz Barthelmitz, who used to work for Walther. He helped design the Walther P38 pistol, so it's got a good pedigree, and he knew what he was doing. It's got a nice rifled barrel, 
a good trigger, good adjustable sights, and it's well balanced. And it's accurate. Uh, I think this is a great little junior or beginner's pistol. Uh, they still make this now, and you can get it for about €45. Euros. Another interesting little pistol is the Uster LP210. This was made by Alpina Werk in Ulm, Germany from 1968 until 1970, so only for a couple of years. It's got a plastic grip and frame, and then the slide is pressed steel, and this acts as the cocking lever. So it's an over lever, and it has a concentric cylinder, which means that the barrel travels up the middle of the cylinder. This configuration means you can have a very compact pistol that's nice to shoot. I think this um, inspired in part the later FB Record Jumbo, which has a similar layout. And talking of FB Record, in 1968 they brought out the LP68, which is a bigger, more powerful brake barrel, uh, following on from the little LP2. So it's quite a substantial pistol this. It's made of steel um, pressings that have got really nice finish to them. It's got a really nice adjustable trigger. It's got good sights. They always have good sights. And um, yeah, it's a lot more powerful than the little LP2. And it's a yeah, good accurate pistol. I still prefer shooting a little LP2 though. It's much more fun. But yeah, that's a good pistol. And then finally in this group of pistols, we have the Webley E-Series Premier, which first came out in 1972. Now this is the last of the all steel spring pistols made by Webley and um, it shares a lot of the uh, attributes of the senior so it's got the same um, easy to cock barrel linkage and it's got the same thumb catch. Um, it has a better trigger though this one and this particular model whoever had it before has set the trigger to be so crisp and light that this is the most accurate of all my Webley all steel pistols. I've won a couple of competitions with that. So that's a great pistol to end Webley's um, series of all steel pistols. So that's it for part two. I've really enjoyed this. Quite a few of my favourite pistols are in this group so um, yeah it's been a lot of fun. Um, if you've enjoyed the video please give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks a lot. Bye.